I just bought the most insane Lego set I have ever seen. It is from the Lego Galador line, which has not been a thing since 2002. And it has some of the strangest properties I have ever seen in a Lego set. First off, it doesn't even have a set number. The only thing I can see on it that has any number is two but I highly doubt that's its set number. The bag art on this is very strange and nothing like we see nowadays with Lego. You can see in the corner that this was a McDonald's promo, but that's really all the information that's on here. I don't even really know where to open this thing up because I want to keep the bag because of how um unique it is. Inside of the bag, there are a bunch of pieces that don't look anything like Lego, and there's a very interesting poster. We'll get into that later. Assembling the figure was really weird because it's made out of these rubber joints, which don't make any sense. It makes it so it has no opposability when it's built but yeah when he's complete he's just a big plastic action figure and like i said before it looks nothing like lego so you might be asking what is this and more importantly why is this a thing well this set was actually based on a show that ran in the 2000s called you guessed it galador and lego thought it would be a good idea to make sets based on it and it seems like they're trying to do some sort of bionicle thing and it really did not work out like what even is this thing but trust me with this line it could have been worse the only accessory you get is the spear which doesn't even fit in his hand even though on the packaging it shows it in his hand you can only fit it in his other hand which is not what the packaging shows i tried to force it in and everything and it would not go so i don't know what happened there the flexibility on this guy is awful like i said before because of the rubber elements he just can't hold a pose the only thing you can move is the arms and those are very rigid his legs also do not move as i said before just a big piece of plastic now taking a look at the poster that was included in the set it is not an instruction manual i really don't think you need one for this set but it depicts some of the other sets you can get based on the show i don't know why you would buy any of these and it also has this starship in the corner which is noteworthy because it is actually the biggest piece lego has ever made it's like the size of your head which is insane on the back you can see some other customization options i think that was the main point of this line you could kind of swap your i don't even want to call them minifigs and it actually is a pretty good idea it's just too bad lego decided to design their pieces like this yikes but anyway this is one of the weirdest lego sets i've ever seen and i definitely wouldn't recommend buying it but hey at least it doesn't look as bad as this guy